Huh? Enable to initialize GPU in DaVinci Resolve? Ah, yeah, that's very common. Let me show you how to fix it. Solution number one is to change the graphics preferences. So click on the start button in the taskbar on Windows, search for graphics settings and open it. Then you will see a list with a bunch of applications. DaVinci Resolve may already be added. However, I will show you how to edit if not. So I'm just gonna remove it for now. I'm gonna click on browse. Then I'm going to go to my PC here and I'm going to show you where it's located by default. So open your main drive, then go down to program files, then click on black magic design, then open DaVinci Resolve, scroll down until you can see the resolve.exe or it may be called simply resolve. So click on it and then click on add and now you should be able to see DaVinci Resolve in the graphics list. Next click on option and here we want to click on high performance which means that DaVinci Resolve is going to be run using the dedicated GPU which is your powerful GPU. So click on save then uh, go ahead and close DaVinci Resolve if it's already running and then start it again and hopefully the error is disappeared. If not, we're going to go to solution number two. If you prefer a written, more detailed format of this video, I've also written a full article on this uh, problem here. So I will leave a link to this article in the description. So the second solution is to make sure that the uh, HDMI or display port cable is connected to the right port. So this is only relevant if you have a desktop computer with a bunch of ports. Here you can see how it looks like. Here you have the motherboard and here you have the GPU if you have a dedicated GPU which is separated from the CPU or the motherboard. Make sure that the HDMI cable, the DisplayPort cable or whatever it is, is connected to the GPU and not the motherboard. If you're not sure which is which, a solution could be to just switch the cables up and hopefully you're able to initialize the GPU in DaVinci Resolve. Anyways, if this did not work uh, for the laptop users this time, is to make sure that you're, you're not in battery saver mode. So to do this on Windows at least, I guess on Mac you could just right click the battery or something, uh, but click on the start and then search for power, uh, sleep and battery settings and then open it. And now under battery, you can expand this option here and then you can expand this one and turn battery saver on automatically at never. Then you're sure you will not be running in the battery saver mode. Next up, you want to make sure that the graphic cards uh, drivers is up to date. So to do this, you first have to know the name of your uh, GPU. On Windows, just go to the device manager, expand the display adapter, and here you can see the name of your GPU. Mine is a NVIDIA. So I will just head over to the NVIDIA driver section. I will fill out the full name of it. I will set the operating system. And since you're a video editor, you want to choose the studio driver and then click on search. If you have a Intel uh, GPU, then go to the Intel's uh, official website or for AMD, the AMD website. So I will leave a link to all of these websites and their driver section in the description of this video. The fifth solution is to use another version of DaVinci Resolve. So for example, if you have just installed the new version of DaVinci Resolve and then the enable to initialize GPU error occurred, then you could go back one version of DaVinci Resolve and hopefully that works. If you have not updated DaVinci Resolve to the newest version, then I recommend doing that. Or if you have an old NVIDIA GPU, 
then you could actually try to install the DaVinci Resolve version 16.2.6. The reason for this is that this version supports CUDA 10 and the version after this only supports CUDA 11 which not all NVIDIA GPUs does. I will leave a link to this installation page in the description of the video as well. Then you just go to latest notes and you scroll down until you find DaVinci Resolve uh, and this version. Make sure to uninstall the current version of DaVinci Resolve before installing this one. Check out this article here for a bit more details on everything uh, discussed in this video. So I will leave a link to this article in the description of the video as well. So thanks for watching.